If you try to upload add SVG images to your WordPress website, you most probably experience this. Sorry, this file type is not permitted for security reasons error. Now guys, that is happening because WordPress by default allows you to upload different image, audio and video file types or formats, but scalable vector graphics are not among them. And that's for valid security reasons. What's up guys, Spiro Kovac here, back with another video. In today's video, as you already know, we're gonna talk about how to add SVG images to your WordPress website secure, safe way. Now, before we get into it, I just wanna invite you to join the WP Society, subscribe now and hit the notification bell to get access to step-by-step -step daily videos that are easy to follow, teaching you how to fix, build and create magic with WordPress. And now let's go, let me show you how to upload SVG vector graphics in WordPress. All right guys, we are now inside my computer and over at wpsociety.com. As we said, we are going to add SVG images into our WordPress library. To get started, let's try to add an image by default. Hover over media, click add new, and then click on select files and select your SVG icon and try to upload. And you'll see you're gonna get this, sorry, this file type is not permitted for security reasons. We can enable SVG uploads two different ways. First and recommended option if you're the only author of your WordPress website is simply by adding less snippet to your functions.php file. To do so, hover over appearance, click on team editor, and then find functions.php. And here you have to paste this piece of code. And guys, no worries, I'm gonna leave a link down underneath of this video in description where you can find link to blog post that will have this snippet here that you can then copy paste into your functions.php file. If we update this file and now try to upload our image, so hover over media, add new, and upload your image, you'll see it's gonna go through. And as you can see, it's uploaded, it went through. Now, this is safe and it's also not safe. Why? First thing first, it's questionable where did you get your SVG file from? If you download it from Dropbox or you found it somewhere you know, sitting online, I recommend you first to check your SVG files for potential malicious code. There is an online application called SVG Sanitizer Test that is recommended to use before uploading any SVG files to your WordPress website. And find link to this application down underneath the description of this video. Now we are supposed to open up our SVG file with any editing tool. I will use Notepad++ and then copy content of it and paste it in here on dirty SVG field in our SVG sanitizer page and then click sanitize. If there was a malicious code in it, it would clean it up for us. And all we would have to do now is to copy this clean content and paste it back into our SVG file and then save file. And we would be then fully safe to upload this SVG icon to our website. Now guys, second option or second way of doing this is by using a plugin. If you already know me, I don't like plugins and I always keep my websites to fewer plugins possible simply because they slow down a website and sometimes I'm happy to spend a little bit more time in development in exchange for site speed. But let's be honest, security is the most important. So guys, in case you have multiple authors on your WordPress website, I would recommend you either to teach them, brief them about the SVG vulnerability and procedures they're supposed to do before uploading or probably easier for you and even for me, I would go with the plugin. So let's install the plugin and let's set it up. To do so, hover over plugins and then click on add new and now search for safe SVG and then find plugin that's called safe SVG by Daryl Doyle. Right now it has around 100,000 active installs and then click install now. And then activate. And that's it guys, what this plugin does, it allows to upload SVG files into your WordPress website and sanitize SVG before saving it into library. And that way it keeps our website fully secured and even your authors can upload SVG files into your website and you'll be still safe and secured. And that brings us to the end of this video guys. I hope you found this useful. If you did so, smash the like, comment in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Don't forget to check these two cards on the right hand side where I'm gonna leave something beneficial for every WordPress user. This is WP Society and we are here to help you make better websites. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again.